Hey nerds, God's Master here, aka G to the three. We are in another Magic the Gathering puzzle quest, and the quest today is for Chick-fil-A. Don't worry, I'm just in the parking lot, I'm not driving anything insane. But I am excited to share with you something I've discovered over the last few days. You see, there's this broken combo, there's this card called the Luminous Broodmoth, and Luminous Broodmoth says... Luminous Broodmoth reads, when a creature you control without flying dies, return to the battlefield under your control, that creature gains flying. So I got to thinking, well, okay, if we're going to bring creatures in, I started trying to mix it up with a few other different cards, cards that bring, uh, there's, there's a, a support now that brings creatures to the board, and then, or from your hand, any red creatures, it's per Preferos, I think is how you pronounce his name, and uh, it's a support, it's out of uh, Theros. Brings a red creature from your hand onto the board after combat, it kills it. Well, if you have creatures that walk and don't fly, then Luminous Broodmoth says, okay, well, you just got that creature for free and it gets to stick around, plus it gets flying. How cool is that, right? But then, you know me, that's not good enough. I got to thinking, what about something that comes onto the board? Aren't there some creatures that come on the board and die right away? Enter Croxa, Titan of Death's Hunger. When this creature enters the battlefield, if you don't control a card named Croxa, what? Uh, Titan of Death's Hunger, and it, if it didn't escape, destroy it. When this creature enters the battlefield or attacks, your opponent discards a card. If it's a non-land card, they lose six mofo life. Furthermore, when this card enters the graveyard from anywhere, we up to four graveyard gems. So there's Croxa, and I got it, and it caused this interesting thing. It's broken between the two of these. It didn't come back ready to go. It came back ready to die again. I'm back. I'm parked now. However, there's another like this. Isn't there another card like this? Yes. Enter Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath. When this creature enters the battlefield, if you don't control a card named Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath, and if it didn't escape, destroy it. When this creature enters the battlefield or attacks, gain three life and draw a card. Then the first land card in your hand gains six mana. When this card enters your graveyard, yada, yada, yada. Right? The usual. So I decided, okay, what I want to do is I want this to hit the board, and when it dies, there's got to be other creatures that when a creature dies or enters the board or something happens, then they trigger something, right? Now, I'm going to I'm just going to say that over the last few days, I've gone through every card that has an enters the battlefield and the keywords you want to search within your deal is whenever uh, a whenever loses reinforcement or whenever enters the battlefield. Those are the three main kind of keywords you want to look for. And I looked everywhere for cards like this. So if we edit, let me go pull this up. Okay, so what I did is I searched, what I did here is I searched out creature. You see I have creature selected. Look down here in this little dilly bob there. It says whenever dies, those are the two keywords. And then I hit apply, right? So Ilrog the Raised Boar has, doesn't affect, I'm not gonna bore you with going through all of these cards. Judith does it. Judith was one of the cards that does it. And it says, while this creature is on the battlefield, your creatures get plus one, plus one. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies or loses a reinforcement, this creature deals two damage to your opponent's first creature and Planeswalker. Pretty epic, right? Well, Lysolda is a mythic just like that. I mean, it's almost the exact same card. Whenever a creature you control dies or loses a reinforcement, deal one damage to your opponent's Planeswalker, and their first creature then draws a card. If that cre uh, uh, To their first creature and then draw a card. If that creature was red or black, repeat this process, right? Same effect, slightly different verbiage, uh, plus one on this one, yada, yada, uh, but similar, right? Should work exactly the same. Judith works, Lysolda doesn't. Very weird. Doesn't make any sense. So I said, okay, what about creatures that get buffed uh, for, and then there's, so I haven't tested some of these others because of like, in this case, lose white creature. Whenever a black non-token creature you control dies or loses a reinforcement, create a spirit token. The challenge is you only got room for three creatures. So you have to have Luminous Broodmoth has to be one, Tesa has to be the second, and then as Uro or Kraxos comes on the board and dies, there's nowhere for that token to go. And then there's a whole token glitch right now. We're not going to get into it. We're not going to discuss it. Just leave it alone. All right. But then there's another thing we could do is gains life right? Gain life or gain life. And we go apply. Um, let's see. And the cards that were potential here, um, I, I, Talzimer, there's something there I want to break with Talzimer. I'm not sure exactly how to do it just yet though. Was it Precinct Captain? No, it's not Precinct Captain. Whenever this creature deals combat, nope, not that one. 
It's got to be enters the battlefield effect. Impassioned order. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you control. I didn't test that one. Let's see. So the next function I started looking at was, well, when creatures enter the battlefield, whenever it enters battlefield, I did that. And long story short, there's a lot of creatures that get all these bonuses when something enters the battlefield. Griffin Protector, if memory serves me correctly, it does work. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, this creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. So this creature gets pumped up. He gets all of the life. To, uh, the, he just, I'll show you. I'll show you. He gets pumped up, and it's another way of swinging. The challenge with it is it's got flying, so if they've got some type of defense, it has some evasion, but you got to be careful with it, right? All right, and then there was Corpse Knight. You would think, okay, Corpse Knight, whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, that opponent's playing walker loses to life. Machine Gun, right? Doesn't work. Uh, it's just weird. So it, it, what I found is, the long story short, the best deck to use and the best card to use for it is Judith. Judith does all the things and then some, but you have to do it in the right order. Let me show you how. Okay, so before we get into showing you exactly how that works in gameplay, I wanted to show you our thread within my uh, uh, coalition. A bunch of guys down and I were top tier. We retired from competitive play. We just play for fun now. So we have a group that's re called Retirement. And inside of here, we said the combo works with both Kroxa and Uro, I said. Just tested it with Lysolda, and it doesn't work. Weird, because it does almost the exact same thing as Judith. An alternative that does work is Blood Acerant. I don't know how it's spelled. That worked. That worked fine. Also, Slaughter Priest of Mogus works. Fireblade Artist works too. And then we scroll, scroll, scroll. Sorcerer's Broom does not, and Griffin Protector do not work with a machine gun. But Rising Populace does, and I think that's the last potential one. Judith is still best. Those are the things we said. Everybody's all excited. Uh, and then I showed them my favorite deals. All right, let's go. That's enough talk. Let us go machine gun bolus, shall we? Let's do it. All right, so we are in training grounds here, and we're taking on Bolas. Got a lot of events to clear this weekend. I got to find some time to get it done. I've been testing this build so much, and I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. But it literally has to be done in this order. If you get them out of order, it doesn't work. So the key is we want to look at our hand. We're going to get Song of Creation. I'm going to test something here with Song because I haven't done this yet. I'm actually not going to cast Song. I'm just going to go in here and go with Narset. And this will work with any black, white, or red, white planeswalker. It's not just this young lady. It works with just about any of them. All right. All righty, all righty. And I don't, this is one of those ones you're playing solitaire. You're not really caring about what uh, Greg is doing when he's navigating another planeswalker over there. You're just trying to get your combo off. It doesn't matter who what they have on the board for the most part. There's Judith, so Judith needs to come out first. So we're going to charge her up. But I'm still going to get out Tamio first because it allows me to run through my deck much, much faster. Let's do that. Okay, I'm waiting. All right, and there's another Croxa, but I need Broodmoth. Where is my Broodmoth? Not a Broodmoth. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to throw Uru in the graveyard. I'm going to... Let's see. We're still going to charge that up. And I have half of my... No, because I have to get that out first before we get the combo. So let's just do this. Oh, I... Forgot. I always get. I always swipe green because I'm so used to Tamio. Narset is not Tamio. <laughs> Actually, I messed up too. I needed to empty my hand of a card so I had a chance to be able to draw what I'm looking for. So I'm going to ditch that. I'm going to go here. Come on, Luminous Broodmoth. Where are you, baby? Not here still. I'm going to take you, actually. I'm going to ditch you. I'm going to go here. And I'd like to show you both Croxa and... Um, Uro. Let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's go here. All right, so those two are charged. I just need Luminous Broodmoth now. So I got two shots at it on this next turn. And I should be game from there. Ugh, don't kill, don't kill my Tamiyo lady. All right, so I have Thrill of Possibility for this very reason right now. Um... 
Let's go ahead and let's do this first. Let's ditch. Let's ditch. Let's ditch. Let's ditch Beacon Bolt. I really don't want to, but let's do it. Let's try to draw on a Luminous. Luminous. This is, oh, this works. This is another way of getting it done. So Court of Calling pulls that off. We're going to ditch that down here. We're going to put this on the board. And we're going to get two Judiths. Actually, yeah, I'm going to get two Judiths so I can go get my Luminous Brood Moth. And then I can run the combo next turn. Uh, let's go ahead and kill that. I don't even know what <laughs> that one is. I wanted Gone. All right, so there is that. I'm going to go get Luminous Brood Moth. Bam. That hits the board. And since we have Tamiyo out, we shouldn't have to ditch any cards. Here's another glitch. See, it's dropping Uro or Kraxos. I'm not sure which. And as long as Bolas doesn't kill one of my critters here on the board, I might have game already. All right, so here it is. We get to see it. Uro or Kraxos. Let's do Kraxos because my life total is not that bad right now. It's actually pretty good. All right, so let's go red here and watch the fun begin. So I draw a card. I do six points of damage to him because it discards his hand. Judith then deals two damage to the first creature that he possesses and two damage to him. And now we just let the cycle run. This is Machine Gun Kraxos. I'll introduce you to Machine Gun Uru, Uro in another one. It does the same exact thing. You draw a card, it gives you life. Um, so there's other things that every time you draw a card does damage. Maybe could be another way that works with this. I didn't think of that. Um, that might be something that would be worthwhile, but your hand is limited. You can only have so many cards in your hand. And as a result, that, that, that would be a limited run on it. So there's a lot of different ways to go trigger this. I would highly encourage you go find which cards work best for you. I'm pretty positive this is a bug that they're going to eventually fix. But this is how it works. We just watch the, the madness as Uro dies and Judith kills. And she just does massive amounts of damage. I exhaustedly went through this process. Now, we say no. Now, here's another little trick. We say no. The loop continues to go, right? When and if I want to say, yes, I want to finish the, the deal. In this case, this build, it actually shoots him in the face until he's dead. So I don't, there's nothing else after this. But if I'm doing a, let's say I don't have Judith and I can't get any of the other cards that I have, which are common, they run, they run the gambit. Some will charge a creature up plus one until the point where it's got a hundred you know, points of uh, strength or a hundred power and toughness plus, and you can swing for the big kill. Or the other thing you can do too is, uh, with Uro or Kraxos, here's a little trick. When the, the timer comes up and it's saying, hey, you, you've run this too long, you, need to, you want to stop it or continue. If it's on the board and hasn't been shot yet, doesn't have zero life, if you say yes, stop the cycle, it'll let you keep that creature on the board. It's a bug. That's it, my friends. That's how you machine gun Uro or machine gun Broodmoth. I hope you appreciate that. If you have any comments or the cards you want me to test or ask about testing, we've tested them all for the most part in standard. This is a standard broken loop that you can use to just win games. It takes a second to set up, but this and this in itself is not a final build. Uh, I'm going to go optimize the build. This is just a deck sketch, but those are the three cards that work for the combo. I appreciate you. If you like this, like it. If you <clears throat> want more content like this, you want stuff where I'm not clearing my throat in your ear, <laughs> comment like subscribe it really helps the channel out lets me know what you're looking for and comment it really feeds the algorithm so other folks who like puzzle quest can go out there and get it done i appreciate you my friends until the next time where we quest together puzzly i will see you in the next one have a good one bye